Hey there everybody, my name is Otmerios and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you guys a pretty badass move. How to shuffle a deck of cards with one hand only. So that you can go out and show off some serious skills. <laughs> because that's what you want, right? That's what you want. Otmerios magic. Like and subscribe. Now before we really get started here, I just want you to know there is a pretty neat tutorial series up and running on my channel featuring some pretty nice one-handed cuts like the Charlier cut, like the scissors cut, also Tudor's revolution cut, right? And also there's a very nice one-handed triple cut, this beauty here. Now, I'm not saying you need to know these one-handed cuts in order to tackle the one-handed shuffle, but they really come in handy. The same, of course, is true for the Faro shuffle. You don't need to know the Faro shuffle with two hands in order to tackle the one-handed Faro, but it really, really helps if you already have a little bit of experience of how the cards behave when you have them interlaced one by one in this shuffling technique, right? That's all I'm saying. All right then, let's break this down into three phases. Phase one, separating the packages. Phase two, interlacing them cards. And phase three, waterfall or bridge flourish. I will not only give you the most important keynotes on the move, I will also give some advice, also give you some advice how to best practice this, how to gain or get the best practice and fast practice results. So let's move to the first position right away. We start here from a straddle grip with all them cards basically held at your fingertips and then your index finger swings to the right long side to break the deck fairly in half at the outer right corner, something like this. And then it's an opening motion of the hand and the top package get pulled over the tip of the index finger to end up in this position here with the cards now clipped between second finger and fourth finger at the short sides as well as the first finger and third finger clipping the cards at the long sides with this diagonal here. Now getting into this position is not easy. Easy is something else. However, there are some key notes that might help you out a lot working this out, right? So first of all, the top package slides all the way over the tip of the index finger. What's that? I got a buck there? Are you kidding me? Go away, right? <laughs> all right, whatever. The top package slides all the way over the tip of the index finger and then even further sliding over the back of the index, over the top knuckle of the index, and then it's caught in this position here, right? It looks something like this. There is where you catch the cards with the back of your index finger. Now the second keynote here is also very important. Uh, take a close look what's happening with the second finger when I open my hand and carry the top package away. Look at this because it swings from the right long side around the right corner up there to the center of the short side. Yes, it's very important here to get the second finger into this position. And because of the second finger doing this swinging motion around the corner to the center of the upper short side, the pinky and the ring finger doing most of the work balancing the cards when you open the hand carrying the top package away. So this is a reason why this feels so crazy exhausting at the beginning trying to get this package here into this position. The best pole position for the pinky is the very left side of the inner short side in order for the pinky to do its job proper. Because if you open your hand now and uh, carry the package away, the pinky, uh, while the hand opens, slides to the center of the short side, 
where it's best positioned to um, stabilize or balance the cards, okay? Look at this, look how the pinky slides to the center here of the inner short side. Shooting this tutorial, I'm doing this a trillion times now, <laughs> working around technical difficulties, fighting against insects, having cards falling into the pool behind me <laughs> because it's a super windy day. So I'm doing this a trillion times now. And you see this shaking motion when I open the hand because my hand got tired. I'm just sharing this with you because if you start practicing this, this might feel impossible. You know, all these things. I mean, how do you get the pinky in the right pool position to begin with here, very much at the left side of the inner short side? How do you get the second finger here rotating around the corner to position it at the middle of the sh outer short side? And how the heck do you control them cards gliding down the back of your index finger to catch them in this position here, right? All of this seems to be impossible. So let me show you right now um, a little um, practice um, advice here, how I um, worked my way um, to be able to do this with one hand actually, because it's not only important what you practice, it's also very important how you practice. And this time we're gonna use our second hand, our right hand here again to um, help us um, getting this down. And uh, we catch the top package. Um, we clip it between thumb and uh, second finger of our right hand, aiding the whole motion, you know, aiding the pinky finger, enabling our um, second finger to rotate here around the corner and also um, helping us getting a feel for this sliding motion of the cards down the back of the index finger, right? So cut the deck fairly in half and then it's a thumb at the inner short side and the second finger at the outer short side and then just do the same thing I'm telling you and you will find now it's pretty easy now to swing around here with your index finger and then you'll get the deck in the right position where it needs to be here um, underneath the knuckle of the index finger at the back of the finger and that's how you practice for the longest time and as you progress um, you can now um, let loose of the cards and only um, help your pinky a little bit um, balancing the cards with your thumb, thumb. So put your thumb here and then just do the same motion and help your pinky um, balancing the cards. However, you will find this is still, still pretty challenging. So also in this phase, you need to practice a little a while to get this going. Um, a little tip here, um, have the pinky and the thumb uh, touching each other, keep contact here during the whole motion, so the pinky, you know, follows the lead of the thumb, and after a certain time of practice then, eventually you will be able to do this one-handed. Next thing, of course, now we need to manage to actually shuffle the cards to have them interlace very nicely here at the corners. So how the heck do we get there? How do we do this? Because if you try this out for the first time, you will realize this is not so easy at all. And it's not about um, force, you know, if you try to now force these cards by pushing with a lot of power here, try to you know, push them together, this does do no good, this only um, ruins your cards, you know. So you, of course, again, need to build up the, the dexterity and the muscles to, um, to get this going. So try this, something like this, you know, go underneath here or go above, you know, and get a general feel for this motion in the first place. This is the first um, practice um, I would recommend something like this, okay. Um, it might feel a little stupid, but you know, you need to get this dexterity down, you know, to have them cards actually jump um, off from one uh, and another in order to, you know, have them, you know, interlace, something like this, you know. You see that? It's not so easy and you need to build this, this dexterity up.
Again, it helps if you come uh, with your uh, other hand, and this time in this grip. Now, again, the thumb goes left uh, from the pinky finger at the inner short side, and the second and uh, third uh, finger of your right hand kind of sandwich the um, second finger here at the outer short side. You know, this grip basically. And um, with this grip, you can now um, interlace the packages, something like this. I hope you can see this. And now it's time for some bodybuilding. So push uh, them cards together and then pull them out again. Not all the way, just a little bit. So push in, push out, push in, push out, push in, push out. And you will find, uh, especially if you start doing this, after a few times only, this uh, gets pretty exhausting. Uh, right now, I already start feeling a lot of pressure here at the pinky and also a lot of pressure here at the back of the index finger. As a matter of fact, guys, once I did cut myself with the top card practicing this, the card cut the flesh and it even started bleeding, yeah? <laughs> Can you say this about yourself that you practice cards once until your hand started bleeding? <laughs> no, I don't think so, but I did. So anyways, if your hand gets exhausted at a certain point, um, just get your index out of the way and then push them cards together with one hand, okay? So once again, um, connect those packages here at the edges and uh, your uh, right hand comes and with this grip, you know, have them cards uh, Pharaoh, and then do your body building in and out and in and out and in and out until the hand get, uh, gets exhausted. Get your index out of the way and push the cards together. One more tip, let's say you just managed to do this one-handed. Try to get into a position like this where the left package is in jogged a little bit. Uh, because now the pushing together motion of the package turns into a pushing inwards motion of the right package, which makes things much more easier. Take a look at this. I try to do this now. Look at this. It goes in there like butter. Isn't that insane? Beautiful. For the last phase now, after separating the packs, after interlacing the packs, we now have only one obstacle in our way to make this look real good, and that is we need to get our pinky break away from the short side, swinging around the inner right corner to the right long side. Just like that, doesn't seem to be a big deal, but can be troubling once in a while. So that's what you do, and then you simply close the hand now, you know, your finger is curling in like claws. Also the index finger is part of this motion, pushing the left package really down. Okay, just like that. Bend the cuts inwards, extend your index finger, and then simply release the pressure by slowly opening the hand with all them cards falling into one another. Layman, and even, you know, people who know a little bit about cards, this really makes an impression on your onlookers. You know, and that's what I was talking about earlier, you know, you gotta get this down 100%, otherwise you look like a freaking idiot. Okay, one more time, interlacing all the cards. The pinky goes to the right long side, Bend the cuts inwards with eight of the index finger, extend the index finger and have them fall in place with this super cool sound. The one-handed card shuffle. Such a cool move. But it bends the card like crazy. What is it? It bends the cards like crazy. And that's why I said, wait, until the very end of your practice, after you get all the other moves down, in order not to ruin too many decks, right? There you go. It was not not so good. I didn't get all them cards here. Let's try to get it much better. One more time. All the motions, everybody's involved. There you go. Pinky out of the way. 
and something like this. Beautiful, beautiful. And once again, of course, the practice goal is to get all the moves down in one smooth motion to make this look really good. Even the last bit, this waterfall flourish needs to go down super smooth. Otherwise, it's just not as good as it can or should be. Something like this. Very nice. Whoops, and another card goes into the pool. Well, well, well. Guys, I know this is a lot of stuff, but if you practice enough and if you practice well, it will come to you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the ride. If so, smash that like button. Also, hit the double combo subscribe and notification so that you will be notified whenever I upload again. My name is Admarius and this is just what I do. Take care now and be sure more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very, very soon. Thank you.